Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm back. I know it's been a while. It's very hard lately for me to find time to make a video and uh, edit a video if I'm doing some sort of process uh, video recording, but I'm going to try to do better these next few weeks. Um, I'm going to start kind of ease my way into it and just do a haul slash a card share and I'm going to get started because I have a lot to show. Um, I already have this mat. This is the American Crafts. I think it's the 22 by 18 inch mat. Um, and it's like a mint green color or kind of like an aqua -y. I already have it, um, but mine's pretty gunked up from working on it. So I thought um, this was on sale for $14.99 and it's originally a $30 mat. So I thought this would be a good one for filming um, when I'm filming hauls and stuff. And I like it and I thought it was half off. So I went ahead and got that. But let me move it out of the way because it's really big. Um, also at Tuesday morning, I got the... Um, boys rule pad and this is it was $2.99 and I'm sure you guys have already seen this because it's like been out for a little bit but um I'm always looking for papers to do little boy cards or teenage boys uh for kids in my family and so I thought I would get this it's really cute um what else and then the um only other like scrappy thing I got there were um, these two sets of brads, they were 99 cents each, and that's always good because these are normally $3.99. So I got both of them. One is, I don't know what collections these are. I can't remember the names. That's how long it's been since I've been in like the scrappy world looking at things, but that's that. And then, um, I had bought one of these containers and I'll try to show you a little better, um, for my, Lawn Fawn stamps. I bought a white one and I really like it. It fits um, four by six stamps perfectly. They're really easy to carry and they're sturdy and it was $2.99. So I went back to get more because I think I'm going to change the way I sort my stamps. And they were, they didn't have as many anymore. So I was only able to get one white and one black one. And I have another white one. But then I also saw this there in their bathroom um, section and it's a little wire and it container with handles but I have some stamps that are wider like I have a W plus nine stamp set that's like the wreaths and it's really wide and so I thought this would be good for some of the larger stamps and this was $3.99 so I think I'm going to change the way because right now my a lot of my stamps are on my um my Renee clip it up and I don't like that because sometimes I like to sort through it during a project and decide if I want to use something different so I think this will like be better. So that is all I got at Tuesday morning. And then um, just some other random stuff. This is like kind of over the last six, I'd say six weeks of stuff I got. I mean, I haven't even delved in yet. Um, from a seller on eBay, I got these for three bucks each. They're embossing powders from Hero Arts. One is the fine white and one is the sparkle. I have a fine white embossing powder from Michaels, but sometimes I don't like the way it works, so I thought maybe if I got a name brand, it would be different. I don't know. So these were three bucks a container, I think, shipped. So I'm going to try those. Um, let's see what else. And then from 123 Stitch, I got two. Actually, I got three stamp sets, but one didn't come yet. It was on um, back order. And it was the Dahlia one. If you guys saw the Christina Warner video where she like watercolor Dahlia flowers. Um, I, that one made me want to get that stamp set right away because my niece's name is Dahlia and I wanted to make her, uh, some piece of artwork with that. But I also got this stamp set, um, because I wanted another large floral that I could heat emboss and then color in. This is the Delicate Blossoms from Hero Arts. And I think this was like $12. <clears throat> and then while I was there looking at Hero Art stamps, I don't know how old this is, but it was very cool. I love this font and I love all these sayings and I like how they can go across a card and these would be really good embossed as well and this one's called messages with a flourish or with flourish so and it comes with a couple other little stamps but I thought that would be fun and then the only other thing um, that I got at 123 Stitch was pumice stone distress ink. I do have the distress markers but um, I've been seeing this used for a lot of background so I wanted to give it a try and then Simon Said Stamp 
had a 20% off sale. Oh wait, I got one more stamp set. I'm so sorry. I got this one. Oh, I'm in love with that. I make probably um, half the cards I make are birthday cards and the other half are thank you. And it's very rare I make a card for anything else. Sometimes I do, but, but not really. Um, and when I saw this, I just loved it because it had all these awesome, awesome, like this one would be good to do in different colors to stamp or color block it and they're just awesome. This is from Avery L. I don't see a name on it. It's called Cake and Candles. It says happy birthday to you. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Cake and Candles. Let us celebrate the day of your birth with cake. Happy birthday to you and make a wish. And then it's I like this little star here too. So I'm sorry. That is everything from 123 Stitch. And then Simon Says Stamp had um, a sale on their products only, so I tried to stick with their products only with the exception of one thing that I wanted that had been out of stock, and I got one die, um, and it is the Love You in Christina Warner's handwriting. I just thought that that was really cute. It was cheap. It was like six bucks and then 20% uh, off. It looks like that. I'm going to re-put it on a magnet and put it the way I put all my other stamps, or a die, excuse me. And then I got this one. I wish I would have got the die too, but I didn't really think about it. It's called Summer Garden, and there were just many things I liked about this stamp. I liked how intricate the flowers were, and I love these little um, scripty sayings. So yeah, this was like a collaboration between Mama Elephant and Simon Says Stamp. And then, again, I got a birthday one, and this one's called, what is this called? Birthday Messages, and it has a few. It's a little, one of their smaller stamps. I think this is like a $6.99 stamp, and then you got 20% off. And it says, Happy Birthday to the most amazing, spectacular, and fantastic person I know. May your special day be as special as you. Birthday wishes. Birthdays are awesome, and so are you. This calls for cake and ice cream. Happy birthday to you. It's your day, and we love you. And then happy birthday in this little box font. That'd be cute to color. So I got that one. Um, and then the only other stamp I got, whoa, almost knocked over my camera. That's great. Um, stay, camera, stay. Uh, the only other stamp I got is not a um, Simon Says Stamp stamp. It's this cover card background, and it's an impression obsession, and it's the striped and you'll see it on one of the cards I made. Um, and then I got two stencils. I got this diagonal stripe. That might be a Christmas one. I don't know. No, it just says diagonal stripe. I wasn't sure if it was the candy cane one. And then I got the large dot. Um, I actually wanted the smaller dot, but it was out, so I figured I'd try this one. And then there were two colors of paper I wanted, and one of them was sold out, which was the fog. Um, the other one that I wanted was Lemon Chiffon, and this is just a hair lighter. I don't know if you can really tell the true color with my lighting here. It's getting dark. Um, it's just a hair lighter than Banana Split from MFT, but um, I thought it was going to be more pale, but it's okay. It was worth the trying it out. So that is it for my haul, and now I'm going to share some cards I've been making. Um, the first one is for the Sugar and Spice Challenge over at Sugar and Spice uh, Challenge .com, which is um, Sherry's site. And uh, Sherry changed her name on YouTube to Make Scrappy Goodness, I think. I'll link it down below. Um, but she's having a patriotic challenge. And um, you could find this card on my blog too in more detail. But basically, my father's birthday is two days after 4th of July, so we always celebrated on 4th of July, so I made him this card. And this background was made by that background stamp using one of the Memento Lux inks. I can't remember the name. And that's the inside. And so yeah, that's that card. Um, I've been really into my floral stamps. Here's that wreath one I was talking about. So I did some layering stamping, and this says best wishes for the Mr. and Mrs., and I have a few people getting married soon. And then I um, put pearls in the middle of each flower, and then down the side is some washi tape. And then on the inside, I kept it really simple, and it just says congratulations on the bottom. And this one is from the same stamp set, just using different colors and patterns. 
Um, this has washi on both sides and it's on dimensional. Um, and then I made a wreath in the middle, stamping with different inks. And I don't know if you can tell, but I used my um, Wink of Stella clear on it. See that sparkle? Put some pearls and it says congratulations with love. And then it says on your special day on the inside. Here is another one. And it's um, from a Paper Tray Ink Set. And it says sending you a little sunshine to brighten your day as you always brighten mine. I used a couple different memento inks um, around the edges, and then these are Studio Calico um, sequins. And then there's nothing on the inside. And another one. It says, have a snappy birthday, and I just did a lot of layering. This is a Maya Road stamp. This is a, a camera stamp set. I forget the name of the uh, company, but a long time ago, Vanessa, who's 77 Butterfly Love and who has an awesome store called Butterfly Reflections, Inc., um, posted the stamp set or, like, in a haul, and I, like, ran to go get it because I love camera stamps. And this is the Mama Elephant stamp set, the Alpha. And, yeah, and then this is just some glitter tape, and there's nothing on the inside of that one. This one, I was messing around with my... Um, Distress ink markers and some watercolor and this was inspired by I forget her name but she does Saturday stamp videos oh my goodness I have to put it down below um, she's from where is she from I can't even think but they just had a blog hop she's a very young girl and she's very talented but she did kind of a card like this with inkers in the background so I wanted to give it a try try and then I embedded with glitter paper the hello from Lawn Fawn and then the whole background is covered in Wink Estella and there's nothing on the inside. And then here's another one I made using one of my um, flowery stamp sets. I was really on a kick. I made all of these on the same day but I did some stamping on craft and then I used my white um, Sweet Tooth Ink from MFT here, and I got this idea from Jennifer McGuire, who a long, long time ago, it wasn't one of her newer videos, but I had just saved it as a favorite, um, did some stamping with white on craft, and I like the way it looks, so it just is on your special day. Very neutral card. This one has been up, these are uh, two that I'm showing you next are really old. I made them a long time ago. If you follow me on Facebook or Flickr, you've already seen them. Um, but I never showed them on my channel, so I figured I would today. Um, I used the little elephant stamp set from Lawn Fawn. This is a Simon Says Stamp um, banner. This is a puffy sticker. I might have shown this on a video, I don't know, but I'm showing it again um, because I haven't given it to anyone yet because I'm in love with this card and I'm not ready to part with it. And these are just like a Martha Stewart heart punch and then some pearls. And then on the inside, it just looks like that so that you have room to leave a message. This one was also on my Flickr and my Facebook, and I used an embossing folder in the background. Um, my one and only paper smooches stamp set. I don't have a lot of paper smooches, but I absolutely love this set. I colored it with my um, Copic markers and used some pearls as the little dials. Put some Wink Stella glitter in the middle, and then it just says Love Machine. And then it just has an empty white background. And then this one I made last night using a really old, um, both of these Hero Arts stamp sets are old. They were, I got them, I don't know, really cheap for like five bucks each or I'm not, I'm not really sure. I can't remember. Um, but I hadn't used this one yet. So I decided to use it and I made this cute little stamp or card. I just love it. Um, using some of the Lawn Fawn paper. And then I stamped to make these look like little sheets of notebook paper and put a Tim Holtz uh, paper clip on it. And then stamped the ruler on craft and this on like a yellow paper. And sprayed some arrows and added some um, enamel dots. And I thought this would be cute to just leave someone a message on their desk at work or something like that. So that is my haul slash card share. I also got a package from Carla in the mail that I haven't opened. It came today while Jay and I were working on the lawn. So I'm going to do a video opening that up. Okay, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.